Bukola joins me uh, as we find out exactly what you are saying. Always bring in to me my technology as I like yes, to indeed, call it. Yes, indeed, your um, very important technology. Very important technology. Speaking of very important, um, on International Women's Day, sadly, we're mourning the kidnap of 200 school pupils in Kaduna. And uh, in the same breath, uh, the abduction of about 300 women in Borono State. Mm. And, and I wonder if there's deep reflection on these events, because uh, when insurgents, uh, you know, carry out heinous acts, there's always an undertone to mm. it. This could be debatable, you know, but um, it was unusual uh, when um, kidnappers uh, uh, abducted or murdered rather um, you know traditional rulers in Ikiti so you know when they're doing such things on a day as uh, you know 24 hours a ahead of a day as significant as International Women's Day it calls for reflection you know, absolutely. I wonder what the undertone is so uh, perhaps authorities should look into it absolutely and, and what is worrying is not just that they are kidnapping it's the fact that the number of people they kidnap in one fell swoop it's just disturbing and unacceptable and that's why we are calling on the government yet again uh, to do what they can as a government to protect the people how do you move such number of innocent children and With no Nobody, nobody, um, there's, there's, there's a lot that has to be done. So, um, I don't know, Let, let's, let's just do what we can as a government, because now people say it's government, so government is all of us. But the people in authority that should take this responsibility directly are the ones we should be talking to. So, but Bukola, let's find out what the people are saying on X. Well, and, that, um, that forms, of course, one of the subject matters on mm -hmm. X, but we're starting on a different note. This time around, they're commenting on the revelations from the continued trial mm -hmm. of a former CBN governor. And uh, the first one is from Grant Zeronye. I hope I got your name correctly. And uh, they say, it's still a befuddlement to me how a Mifili, a man I knew from his days in Zenith Bank as an astute banker, got derailed and lost his way. Well, he's still on trial. Yeah. So uh, we'll wait for him to be declared either innocent or guilty. Absolutely. Uh, so we must be moderate in our commenting on these matters. Absolutely. So basically, you know, it's about that $6.2 million that uh, they say the certificate the signature was forged. Uh, so it's still a continuation of trial. We'll get to find out exactly what happened. Let's read, uh, let's find out what Mazi Chooks is saying. That's a good step. The forensic expert should do more work by telling the court who forged the signatures. They may start the screening from the people who were very close to the then president, Mohamed Buhari. You know, and some would say that the forensic expert confirming that indeed the signatures were forged uh, could be subjective. Uh, what, what, what's the veracity of his claim to confirmation? Uh, could another for forensic expert come and give a different verdict on the same signatures? So uh, that, that, uh, it's, it's, the it's investigators must do a thorough job. That's why they, they are called, they are different levels of witnesses. They are star, they are expert witnesses. So when there's an expert witness, like a medical doctor and all of this, so these are the things they do. Uh, if you're in doubt, maybe bring another person. But for the ones that the EFCC has presented, um, he has said what he has to say is for the defense now to put up a case yeah. whether otherwise and all of that. Maybe this a, is a tighter one. Uh, this is James Agada saying, let us assume it was forged. Who forged it? Who presented it? Who validated it? Who collected the physical cash? Or immediately did all of this for a miserly $6.5 million. And it's disturbing to look at $6.5 million, not Naira. Mm -hmm. $6.5 million as small money. No, that's not small. Mm. That's not small by any standard. But not by it's any standard. It's public money. Musab Biar, and you know, it comes with some numbers. He says, I can't believe that Emefile is the only one who benefited from this loot. He's still um, innocent until proven guilty. Many people are in it. I don't know why Emefile refused to mention the beneficiaries of the loot. Well, do you have mm. <laughs> now, counter talk, evidence to prove that? T-Talk says Emefile this, Emefile that. Agreed. Can we start mentioning and publishing the names of everyone involved in the smooth process of running the economy? Obviously, he didn't do it alone. Okay. Well, let's go to the next theme, which is the kidnap of uh, 200 pupils from Kaduna uh, and teachers as well. Ar Arami says, oh God, I thought we have gotten past this bandit of a thing. I pray they will be fine. And that's our prayers at this time.
Eunice Vince too. That's your handle. Says they've, they've started again. What's going on in this country called Nigeria? The government needs to be asked some serious questions because this is getting out of hand. That's our job. We're asking those questions this morning. Well, Bola. at Real Life Made says this is now becoming normal in the north. Every time bandits go to school and abduct students successfully, I have never heard that an attempt was botched. Sad. Kamel with the handle Sir Poden. Potence 89 says there's no way that these things are happening without the involvement of the armed forces. Now, that's an allegation. We cannot verify that. No, not at all. We can't uh, disparage the or impugn on the integrity of the armed forces. Moving 200 persons by foot or vehicles to secure location in the bush which takes hours or days without the intervention of police is obviously a joint venture. Still uh, speculative, we mm -hmm. must say. Mm -hmm. um, Mambro says 200 pupils carried in a bus driven through the town down to bush parts. No villagers saw them nor raised alarm. The pupils remained calm as if they were going on an excursion. Please, does, do all these things appeal to logic? Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Chai, Nigeria, nah, Nigeria, my country. And, you know, Boss, uh, and this is a critical yes, yeah. uh, post, you know, uh, and instru it's instructive for yes, the it's authorities quite, to It's take. quite difficult to figure yeah. out mentally how this happens. But Boss Baby says, and the sad news continues, imagine what the families are going through, not to talk of the victims. Innocent kids, these innocent children. All right, Bukola, you have the next one. And it's on another theme. Nigerians are happy about a development from uh, the Identity Management Commission, NIMSI. Mm. It appears you can now make modifications with ease without having to be physically present at any of their offices. And this is what Ademola starts off this with. Uh, they say, good development. No more extorting and delaying from NIMSI office for complaint and change of data. I like it. Niger Compatriot said NIMSI is making things easier uh, in all ways for, in every way, I guess want to say for Nigerians every day, if you want to modify your NIM data is simple, as simple can be. Um, yeah. David Offor says things are really changing in at NIMCNG, it's tagging uh, the commission. No more wahala in modifying your personal children's, your personal children's data from the comfort of your home. You can do so your Yourself. Very commendable. Adule says the way NIMC has set up a team that is dedicated to quickly resolving all concerns related to data modification is amazing. And That's what we do. Praise when they need commendation. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Okay. Chuku Bartholomew Chidebere says the ability to modify your personal data or data of your children is the highlight of this NIN data modification for me. From the comfort of your mobile phone, you can self serve yourself via and they put the um, HTTP link there. Of course, you can find it as well. Absolutely. So, uh, Naza Kali, Naza underscore Kali says, NIMSI's commitment to simplifying processes for Nigerians is commendable. Utilizing self-service okay. steps and outlined in the flyer makes modifying NIM data straightforward and accessible, ensuring convenience for users. Mm. And Absolutely. This, this next one, Jeffrey, is about uh, the continuing, well, I call it spat now, between uh, the, that manufacturing, tomato manufacturing company and the social media user. Mm. Who it's went still on. on social, it's, it's still on, you know, and posted a negative review about the product of the company. So it's um, Erisco versus uh, Choma Egodi. Uh, this is what Jamila starts off by saying about uh, this con conflict. Businesses around the world get negative reviews from their customers every day. They don't go about bullying them for their comments. The Nigeria Police Force is treating a negative product review as a cyber crime offense. Arisco took this to another level. I have never seen this kind of thing in my entire life. Wow. Okay. This is uh, Afam with a uh, couple of numbers 515 26566. I know Mr. Arisco went a little bit too far, but that's only that's the only option he has so uh, has a choice wanted to say that's the only option he has or to choose from I to believe. choose from yeah let's not see this case with a sentimental emotion it is what it is our Af Afam same person says to be sincere on this matter Choma is wrong her review is a dangerous one um, if the tomatoes is that sugary Nafdak wouldn't have given a risk license to produce 
the, those products. Let's be sincere. If it was your company, I believe many of you would do worse to her. Well, it looks like like different views from the same right. handle. So there, there's a lot uh, that this has to do with the experts and the authorities. Uh, NAVDAC in this case will have to do what they have to do. So let's leave it to the expert to do their job. Uh, but it's okay, you share your views. Our responsibility as a community show is to ensure that whatever it is you're saying, we'll bring it to the fore and amplify it uh, so that everyone else uh, can make sense of the situation. Hey, but don't stop coming with those, uh, I, I almost said tweets, those posts on X. And today is International Women's Day, so it's an all women affair. I told Bukala, she's in charge of the show. Bukala, uh, uh, Kaida and I are just here at support system. So send your videos, send all of them on X, send it on WhatsApp. Let's get to hear what you want to say about those lovely women in your life. Could be your mother, your sister, your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, all of that. We'll see you after this break. Join us again.